5, we are learning more about plans in Cobb County to roll out self-driving vehicles. Yes, yeah, so the Cumberland Community Improvement District first launched the Hopper Pilot Project last summer. As Joe Ripley reports tonight, they are using these self-driving vehicles to transport and teach. Your standard school bus doesn't run like this. We could sit and have a conversation with each other and not just face forward. Brianna Brathwaite and 70 of her Sprayberry High School classmates are getting a lesson in STEM. So we tell the vehicle where to go. Beyond the wheel. I thought we would have moved faster, but the fact we moved slow made me feel more secure. And I wasn't afraid the whole time. I was actually, I felt safe in there. She hopped on the Hopper, Cobb County's first autonomous vehicle for public transit. It follows two routes in the Cumberland area, one to the Galleria Office Park, another to the Battery. Kim Menifee says the pilot program is part of a larger project to link walking and biking trails using an autonomous shuttle system starting in 2027. The Cumberland Sweep will be a three mile corridor that will connect all of the major assets within Cumberland, connecting people to jobs as well as to all the incredible amenities about 4,400 people have ridden the hopper since the pilot program kicked off in July. The autonomous vehicle gets to speeds of up to 12 miles an hour. It's basically the invisible rail that the vehicle is following right now. Raquel Asa works with Florida-based Beep, which rolled out this all-electric vehicle. She says the hopper follows a virtual track programmed by operators. It has lighters and sensors, which basically work like the eyes of the vehicle. Some of us have better eyes than others. I can tell you these eyes don't blink, and the vehicle technology doesn't get distracted. Asa says for students like Brianna Brathwaite, the hope is learning about these self-driving vehicles could drive them to a career in STEM. Having them have early exposure to these types of new and alternative transportation and additive technology gives them a little bit of a taste of what they can do when they grow up. In Cobb County, Joe Ripley, 11 Alive News.